Hey guys, Survival Bob here, and we are picking up where we left off in my beginner's guide to No Man's Sky. This is my straight up gameplay through the first couple hours of the game. It's a Let's Play style tutorial to teach you all the things you need to know as a beginner in No Man's Sky. Part two, what we're gonna do in this episode is we're gonna we're gonna finish up with the base. And then we're going to head to the space station, we're going to make some money, we're going to crash a, an economy or two, and have fun along the way and teach you guys the best way to get started in No Man's Sky. So, let's, uh, let's jump right back into the action so we can have the best start we can. What are you selling, buddy? Goop. You got some goop, huh? Normally you're going to be picking up residual goop. I don't think I found any, so I'm going to just buy them from this guy just so I can show you this real quick. Why you would keep the goop. So, let's run down and check our base computer and I'll show you about the goop real quick. Alright, so let's check the logs. We're going to extract the plans. Access to their plans and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. Alright, so now we've got the construction research unit. Very nice. So let's throw down our refiner. We'll put that right there. And then we need magnetized ferrite, which means we've got to refine ferrite dust into pure ferrite. All right, so I don't need all of it. If you hit C, it's gonna cut it in half. Nailed it. All right, we'll put that there and then we're gonna refine that into magnetized ferrite. And we got what we need to make the uh, the construction terminal but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and make another metal plating because that's gonna allow me to put another one of these refiners down so I'm gonna have one refiner that's just gonna have some goop going to turn into nanites so we're gonna turn this residual goop is gonna go into viscous fluids it's gonna take about a minute and a half so I'm just gonna have that going in the background and then we'll make our construction dealy right there and then we'll go ahead and swap this around because it takes four refines to do this. So the fluids are going to turn to slime in a minute and a half. We'll let that go. So let's go ahead and research buildable technology. All right, now I've got salvage data because I picked that one up. You, you're going to need to get, I think, eight or ten because you're going to need to go all the way down to here. So let's go ahead and learn the teleporter because it's going to ask us to. Right now we get to rename our base. Bob's Knob. Then we're gonna upload it. Now it's saved to the server, so if anybody comes here, you guys can check out Bob's Knob. I'll show you where I'm at. You can see your location by hitting photo mode and, uh, and see the glyphs down below. Now, if you're new, you don't have glyphs, so don't worry about it. But photo mode is something I completely forgot to tell you. Uh, if you're on permadeath, it's much more of a big deal or survival, but you can hit photo mode and it's going to totally change. I mean, it's going to stop the game. The game's paused. So this is a great way to look around. So you can move the sun for the photo and use that to look for resources. Now, if you're looking for um, oxygen and the glowy resources, it's best to move the sun to the other side. The sun is F so that you can see the glowy stuff. So down there, you can see that there is some resources that we can grab. And there's more over there, and there's some over there, and there's some over there. They're all over the place. So uh, it's a great way to find stuff, even if you don't have the scanner early game, and I kind of forgot to tell you all that. But you don't have to, obviously. Bob made it without it. All right, so let's check the refiners. Let's go ahead and slap my slime in. We're going to turn that one-to-one -to, -one to runaway mold. So here, I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, rusted metal cooking. We're going to need more ferrite dust. I need four metal plating. So I'm going to click craft. I'm going to go to metal platings and I'm going to hit D until I get four. Go ahead and make that. Now I need two carbon nanotubes. So I'm going to hit D, go to two. And now I can build my, if I get on the right menu, my teleporter. No, this is out of fuel, right? See why you need carbon? Because Bob's struggling right now because he didn't 
stand around and get enough carbon. Alright, so now we've got to learn the biofuel reactor. Learn base modules the construction units. Let's see how many we're going to need. Is it going to tell me? I think it's two or four. Nope, it's one. Alright, so we need one for the biofuel. The electrical wiring is free. And then we're going to need the battery. I'd love to have the solar panel, but it's eight. So, this is kind of the path you want to go. The biofuel reactor, it just sucks. But I'll show you um, kind of how I use it to make it suck less. Let's see if there's any berry technology nearby. 334, 350. All right, let's go down here. We'll grab some carbon as on our way, but we'll go grab some berry technology as well. Be careful running down the hills. If you just run normally, you're going to slide. Which is fine. Sliding down the hills is totally fine. You're not going to get hurt. I'm just going to scan these real quick because I'm going to be grabbing them as I run. And I want to make sure I get the secondary element. Do not fly off these things or you will die. It's okay to die. You can go get your stuff back in normal mode, so it's not a super big deal. But, you know, it's kind of annoying. You don't lose your stuff, so there's nothing to, to sweat. Alright, so I marked that so I can see where I'm going. Unfortunately, you can't run while you're using your, uh, your mining laser. But once you overheat, that's a good opportunity to run. Alright, so get over here. We're going to get our terrain manipulator back out. Oops, I passed it. Get down here and grab it. See how many we get. Two. That sucks. The most you can get is four, which, in case you're wondering, is better than two. Alright, I'm going to get that one on the way back. So let's go down a little bit farther. We'll grab this one. Oh, and there's some um, yellow stuff down there, too. All right, don't do this. <laughs> sodium, yes, I like the sodium. It makes me feel safe when jogging at night. Oh, there's a good amount of sodium here. What is that? That's copper. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some of this copper while we're here our train manipulator. This is what we were supposed to do on the other planet, but we didn't have to because, well, I guess it was this planet, but we didn't have to because I had um, broken down the other thing. But it's good to have copper. We're going to need more chromatic metal as we go. So grab up the copper if it's easy to get for you. Now one cool thing about No Man's Sky is when you're running, um, you can be holding down the E key to grab stuff as you go by it quicker. So you don't have to like, you don't have to push it when you see it. So if you're already holding it down, it's just going to start the timer. So I'm holding it down, and then as soon as I get here, I got it. Now, I'm, I'm just going to throw that out. I don't even want it. Facium is poop, guys, if you didn't know that. It is useful. You are going to need it. All right. Uh, Starship guidance message. I can summon it. Peas. I'll take them. All right, so how many did I get? I wasn't paying attention. Two. Gosh, you're killing me, game. And right, there's some more over there. Back up the hill. Now, using your jetpack up the hill is much, much better and much more recommended. In fact, if you stay right up close to the hill, you can sometimes use your jetpack for even longer. Now you can also cut through the hill if you don't feel like going around it because it's it's being annoying. Just bust out your uh, terrain manipulator, cut through that hill. Now if you get deep enough, you're going to not take damage. Now I'm not in a cave, so it's not going to restore, but I'm not having to uh, recharge my shields quite yet. Another pro tip, uh, the terrain manipulator uses ferrite dust but if you scroll over it also uses silica powder which is what you pick up by using the terrain manipulator so use that instead of your ferrite dust 
I don't know why it doesn't give you that option first. Oh crap. Alright. Bob's gonna fall. Oxygen. Alright, got it. How many did I get that time? Two. Did I see another one? Yep. So, Bob's knob is uh, apparently pretty high up. Again, don't do this. See? Ow, 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 ow. Took a little damage. What happened? Did the plant get me? Something got... Oh, no. Hazard protection. But, these white boxes are health? Very nice. The health is the little pluses down there underneath the white bar at the top. The white bar at the top is your shield. Let's go ahead and grab this. And, instead of trying to climb up this hill, I'm going to call my ship down because... I can. So, don't be afraid to do this, guys. Make launch fuel. If you don't have uranium, it's just a metal plating, and I think it's dihydrogen jelly. Let's see, how, how do you make launch fuel? Metal plating and dihydrogen, so not even jelly. That's why we're picking up the ferrite dust and the dihydrogen. You can make launch fuel. Super easy. All right, so let's get up here. Whoa. All right, that's right. I can't fly in this mode. Third person. Much better. All right, I want to be on this side, though. So when it's green, hit E, and you'll land. And don't wait. As soon as you see it turn green, go ahead and hit E, because sometimes you'll miss it if you don't. So when you're thrusting, always save a little bit for the landing. You can let yourself fall just... Give it a touch right before you uh, you finish. Or smack the ground, I should say. Alright, buildable technology is what we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and get the biofuel reactor. We're going to get the wiring. Now you can also get different parts for your base if you want to make your base look cooler. I'm not going to do that right this second, but uh, definitely worth doing. All right, let's go ahead and throw our mold back in. Now, this is going to refine down the nanites, which we're going to use later on. So you're going to get um, five to one on the mold. So if you ever forget what you're supposed to be doing, go over to the log. You've got a primary mission, explore the planet and expand your base. And then you got secondary missions, which right now we're supposed to be powering our base. So we need to construct the biofuel reactor. So we're going to hit Z to go into the build menu. And it's just going to kind of take us there. Power. Biofuel. Of course we need a metal plating. We always need a metal plating. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take these nanites. They don't go into your inventory. They're just going to go in your nanite spot. And then... Let's go ahead and start refining something else. Get that turned into 800 ferrite dust. Guys, I totally forgot to tell you about the cargo slots. The cargo slots are super useful. Uh, they're going to be high capacity for you, so you're going to be able to keep a lot more stuff in there. So if you... Now, if you're on normal, it doesn't really matter because you're not stacking. I mean, you're, you can go to 9999, so you can go to 9999 units, so you don't really need to worry about it. I usually go ahead and I keep my nav data in there because that's going to build up quick. And I keep my salvage data for now, just because I don't use those and it just kind of keeps them out of the way. Now, if you're playing a different mode and you need to stack stuff higher than what it allows you to here, then you definitely want to uh, use that in the cargo. All right, biofuel reactor. All right, let's get this stupid little thing that I'm only going to use because you make me. Stick it there. And then we're going to build a wire. So you go back in, go to wires, hit 
one green side and so you can move these wires wherever you want and you know if you did it and put it way out somewhere weird you can actually put a wire down and just stop it there and then turn it and go to here if you want to not the best way to do it if you mess up your wiring you're in the build menu you just hit control it's going to build that up you touch it put your here let me let me go into a different view so you can see it better um you go x x and it goes away and then you can just slap it back down bam nailed it all right listen up guys this is a pro tip from survival bob you have to build the biofuel reactor because you have to do the portal has it told me to do the portal yet Sometimes it takes a minute to update. Interact with the generator to select furnace tank to apply fuel. Okay, so now we have to interact with this thing. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna interact. Now, there's not a lot of choices. You throw oxygen or carbon or condensed carbon in here, but when you pick it up the first time, it's only gonna let you pick up all of it. And I don't wanna put all my oxygen in there, that would suck. So I'm gonna right click to get out of that. So I'm going to use carbon because I've got a lot of carbon for the moment. And when I pick up the stack, it's going to want me to put all of it down. And if I do, I can't get it back out. It's not like the, um, the refiner where I can pick it up and get it back because this isn't a portable thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit C and that's going to half it. And I'm going to put one. Bam. Did it. Did the mission. Now, if so I got the little check mark there. Now, you can actually power it with two long enough to get out and grab the teleporter and go. I'll show you that later on. But the first couple times I played, I was throwing, I was freaking out because I was having to throw all of my oxygen or carbon or condensed carbon into that thing and I was losing it. And I didn't really need to do that. All right, let's go over here and check the base computer. Bob's knob, base computer. Accessing a log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Scanner detected unusual broadcast repeating 16 from the space station. Warning, end of archive. Records interrupted. The base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I can learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. All right, so we're gonna leave. And now it wants us to go to the space station. Check this, did I have anything in here? Yeah, I did. Let me get my favorite dice. So if I leave planet and um, leave stuff in here, it ain't gonna be here when I get back. So let's go, let me finish that up and we'll go to the space station. I'm gonna clear out my inventory a little bit by selling some stuff here. Now, if you're not at one of these places, you're just gonna do this at the station, okay? I've got two minutes to wait while my ferrite dust refines, so I'm gonna go do that real quick. And I'll show you kind of what I sell. All right, so we can buy or sell. I've got 10,000 units, so I'm super broke. I've got 95 nanites because I did the refining and I picked up a couple somewhere. Uh, I got six salvage data. So I can go ahead, I'm gonna sell this. Am I gonna sell it? No, nah, I'm not gonna sell that. But I am gonna sell these Viking daggers because I don't need those right now and I can get them later. And I'm going to sell those Gek Relics, because I don't need those. And I am going to sell these Jade Peas. I'll sell the Silica Powder. Now, normally when I go in a cave, I'm going to find some of these Vortex Cubes, which are going to give me, you know, five to $6,000, depending on the demand. Um, let me tell you this. Uh, so when you come to trading is, is, trading is important in this game, okay? Because a lot of times you're, no, wait, that's not right. Because a lot of times you're sitting there and you got, like, I got no money. What am I going to do? So let me show you how to make a little bit of money trading real quick, dude. I'm, I'm here first, okay? Back up off this. All right, so buying and selling, you're going to notice these um, negative. If it's green, that's in your favor. It doesn't necessarily mean green is positive because, see, these are negative. Now, so the demand for here is low, so this is a little bit cheaper, so you're paying a little bit less. Uh, now, cobalt is one of the ways I told you we're going to make some money early game. We are going to uh, where's my cobalt so I mined up I only mined up a little bit I only mined up 1157 uh, I'm actually gonna save that for the space station because I'm gonna crash you can crash the economy by selling the cobalt selling it all at once and when you do that you can buy it back at a cheaper price all right so let's go ahead and do this because I'm gonna do it again at the space station 
All right, so I'm going to sell everything, and that's going to give me 227,000. The demand is currently 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5, so it's pretty much even. Once I sell it, I got my money. I have no cobalt. But now the demand has dropped to 35. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to buy it all back. And I'm up 31,000. Now, that's nothing, but we're going to do this a bunch. Okay, and I'll show you how it's going to add up quick. And go ahead and refine this fungal mold because I don't need it right now. But eight seconds for 138 carbon, I can totally use that. It'll save me time mining. Alright, so let's go get our ship and head to the space station. Oh, look at that. That's such a pretty uh, sunset. Is it sunset? Sunrise? Something. That's pretty. All right, so we're looking for the yellow dot. There it is. And then we're gonna pulse our little booty over there. All right, first time you come to the space station, be very careful. Um, if you head straight for that right now, it's uh, it looks like it's right there, but it's on the other side. I know that from experience of smacking into the side of it. What you're looking for is uh, the little blue beam coming out of it. So if you don't see that, and you keep going straight for the dot, you're going to smack into the wall. You won't die, but it's a little awkward. A little awkward. And you get awesome music the first time you come in. Let's take a moment to enjoy that. Okay, so we are here to explore the mystery signal, but... Let me tell you why I'm here. Every time you go in the space station, first thing you want to do is head right, head over to this corner, and you want to buy an exosuit upgrade. Now, you it's going to tell you to put it here first. You can put it in technology or cargo. If I'm playing on survival or permadeath, I'm going cargo first, and technology I'm probably going to alternate as I go through the game. But here, it doesn't really matter. I don't really have any extra technology, and I'm going to jump to some more systems. So, uh... I'm just going to throw it in general. Now they're going to get progressively more expensive as you go. These guys over here are the technology merchants basically. They're going to sell you upgrades for... This guy sells you upgrades for your suit. This guy sells you upgrades for Exocraft. This guy is spaceships. And sometimes he has free stuff here. No free stuff today? Huh. And then this guy is the um, multi-tool. And you can check this cabinet and see if you want to buy another multi-tool. Alright, so this is a uh, crap. We'll compare it to my crap. Uh, it's a little better crap by one slot, but uh, and the scanner range is decent, a little bit better. But uh, yeah, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to decline. Thank you, but no thank you. Now the other thing you're going to do when you come into a uh, station for the first time, early game, later game you're not going to care so much, is you're going to look around on the tables for these little cube thingies. You're going to get nav data or nanites. Don't see any over here. You guys didn't really leave a lot out for me. And then go in the back room. This is where the magic happens, guys. See, look at these guys. They're up to something. And then we busted in on them. Nah, I'm just kidding. So this is... Uh, you don't really need these guys right now. These are later game. These, uh, So I'm not even going to talk to them. But those guys are for your trade terminals. Not your trade terminals. For your construction terminal and stuff like that. Which, if you want us to get to that, just let me know in the description. We'll, we'll keep going. All right, so we've got a terminal back here. You can buy some more goop if you're really hard up for nanites. Go for it. Ooh, copper. That's a good buy. You can turn that into chromatic metal, uranium as well. You can turn that into uh, launch fuel, but it's probably cheaper to not use their uranium. <laughs> it's definitely cheaper to not use uranium. Oxygen's good to have. Um, Cobalt. Okay, so cobalt here demand is 0.2%. So the demand down on, on uh, the station on the um, uh, on the trade platform is different from the demand here. So you're going to have two different economies. You're going to have the space station economy, and then you're going to have the planetary economy. And those are determined by those two locations. So crashing the market down there is not going to affect it here, which is nice because I can crash the market twice. So they've actually got a bunch of cobalt. So let me switch and nope. So I'm going to switch to sell and I've got 200 and I've got 1287. God, I wish I had more. I should have mined up more, but I didn't. I didn't. 
So I'm going to go ahead and sell that. It's not going to smash the market all the way down. But I'm going to sell it. I'm going to make that money, and then I'm going to buy it all back. And the demand's only gone down to 38. Now, if you're crashing this right, which we'll be doing in the next, we'll be doing the next time, you're going to get it down to almost 80% down. Okay, so I can't even buy all of it. This sucks. So let me show you what to do. Buy as much as you can. All right, so I'm gonna buy it all back. I'm gonna have no money. Then I'm gonna do this one more time. Now, guys, this is this is not the best way to do it. I'm just doing it this way because I didn't spend the time to mine the cobalt. If you spend the time to mine the cobalt, it's going to be much easier. Alright, so I'm going to sell it back. I'm going to lose some money. But hopefully that's going to drive the demand down to where I want it. Yep, there we go. So I had to do it twice, but now I got the demand down to 80%. So now I can buy all of it. So I've got more cobalt than I had before, and I've got 125 left over. So uh, if you mine up, you know, 3,000 or so cobalt, you, you won't have to do that. But because Bob was trying to do this quick for a video, he didn't mine up as much cobalt. All right, so we did the right side of the space station. Now let's go check out the left side of the space station. What's up, dude? That's nothing. All right, so we're supposed to explore, so let's just talk to some people, because that's what it wants us to do. All right, not you. Oh, all right. These little black things are stuff too, right? All right, so I got nanites there. I got nav data and nanites. So it says nav data every time when you look at it, but sometimes you're going to get nanites, which is cool. I gotta keep looking for somebody to talk to. How about you? Will you talk to me? Sorry, I made you get up. See, it's saying stuff in another language I don't understand. The metallic being chatters away, pouring forth words in a language I cannot understand. But when I blink, I see the same red light that stared at me in the distress beacon. Repeat 16. Ah! We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. All right. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through their red glare. Logged, l lodged, lodged, yeah, lodged directly into my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form staring at me through its visor. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. No? Okay. I like how they uh, interact. Sometimes emotions make sense, sometimes they don't. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer will be able to make something of this code. Yup. All right, so go back to the base computer. So this is teaching us how to use a teleporter. We can go use a teleporter instead of flying back down. But before I do that, I want to come visit some of these aliens that have landed. Please come back. Hmm, that's sad. Because they're going to sell cobalt as well, and I want to stock up on cobalt before I head to the next location. Now, while you're waiting on ships to land to buy some more cobalt, you can come talk to these guys and learn some of their language and then repeat it back to them and sometimes they're going to give you free stuff. So, uh, if you're killing time, it's kind of fun too. I definitely recommend you do it. Talk to everybody in here. Learn all the dialect you can. Um, the Corvax are technology guys, so you want to learn technology symbols and you want to say those technology words back to them for the best chance of getting something cool. Uh, the other races are the Viking, which are the big scary guys. Those guys are aggressive and warriors. You want to learn like aggression symbols and war symbols. They like that stuff. And then the little midget guys are the Gek. Those guys like trade, so you're going to want to learn trade signals, uh, symbols for them. So I'm going to learn a technology symbol. I've learned research. Ooh, that's a good one. So they like research. They often give you something. So we're going to talk to them again, uh, and we're going to practice our language skills. And the only word we know is research, so we're going to say it back to them. He takes the word seriously, trying to gauge my depth of understanding. They give me some nanite clusters to further my technological education. Sweet, so I got free nanites. Oh wow, I got a decent amount too. I got 70. No ships, for real? Alright, hey buddy, what's up with you? Now this is the Gek. This is the guy I was telling you about. These guys are traitors. Ooh, okay, so there's a fighter. That's kind of cool looking. Not digging the blue and orange colors, though. 
All right, so let's jump down here and go talk to this guy once he jumps out of his ship. He's going to sell cobalt. So we're going to buy. And see, now his demand, it's also at negative 80. So we're going to buy all of it. All right, so now we're at 3,700. That's worth half a million. We're going to get that up pretty quick because these guys are going to sell me about 2,000 apiece until I run out of money. Have I talked to you? Yep. What about you? Yep. You? Yep. Not you. He's inspired by my choice of words. They glance at my exosuit, then offer me an upgrade. Sweet. That's exactly what I was looking for. Awesome. Hazmat gauntlet. That is sweet. That is really good. Now I can pick stuff with that, and I don't have to spend the nanites to get it later on. Sometimes it doesn't upload immediately. Should say Bob's knob, which is fun to see. Alright, let's go talk to our base computer. Alright, let's begin the description. Decoding 16, 16, 16. Message follows. A traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Word. Signal acquired. All right, guys, I think that is we were, where we are going to leave it off for this episode. I have been playing now for about an hour and a half. Um, I'm cutting out a lot of this gameplay just because it's repetitive, and I want to keep this episode at a length people will actually watch. So if you found this helpful, uh, give me a thumbs up. No, no, hold on. If you found this helpful, give me a... Th no, you. Remember. How about that? Yeah. All right. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you want to see another one. If we get enough likes and enough uh, comments down below, we'll definitely do another one of those guys. But uh, I need to know you're interested so I can keep making these. I will definitely do it. Guys, this has been Survival Bob. And uh, just remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. We'll see you next time, guys. Where's my ship? Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh, guys, check this out. Um, I was looking for my ship. Bad parking. Bad parking job. But it still works. It's fine. That's just where they stuck it when I came back from the, uh, from the teleporter. <laughs>